New tonight, those results led to some surprises and even uncertainty. Fox 56's Jake Sauer is joining us live to explain more on this. Jake. Yeah, Aaron, one of the biggest surprises is actually how well former Ambassador Nikki Haley performed dropping out of the race over a month ago. Polls across the Commonwealth closed at 8 o'clock Tuesday night. Vote tallies pouring in. Past election cycles have secured Pennsylvania as a battleground state for presidential races. President Biden walked away with 93% of the votes, with his challenger, Dean Phillips, taking nearly 7%. Former President Trump won 83% of the Republican votes, while former Ambassador Nikki Haley took nearly 17%. Dr. Joseph Risch, an associate professor of political science at King's College, believes the vote count for Haley shows a dissatisfaction for the former president. You need to carry 90% plus of your own political party to have a chance of winning an election. So Trump is below that. He's 83%. Risch says Haley's polling on primary day was higher than both Trump and Biden's when they won the state in the 2016 and 2020 elections. Trump won Pennsylvania in 2016 by 40,000. Biden won by 80,000 in 2020. As election offices begin adjudicating ballots, one race in Luzerne County is still too close to call. Incumbent State Representative Mike Cabell and his Republican primary opponent, Jamie Walsh, are running in the 117th district. As of this broadcast, Walsh is leading Cabell by eight points. He feels time is of the essence. The more he wastes time not conceding is one day that we lose trying to defeat Joe Biden. Cabell, on the other hand, believes the process should play out, stating in part, the campaign stresses the importance of the final canvassing and adjudication processes, which are crucial steps to verify and count every vote accurately. With a margin of just eight, Risch believes that the race could head to a recount. This is going to go back and forth for a while until it's, uh, until it's final. Now, as the days go on, stick with us here at Fox 56 for the latest in that 117th district race. Reporting live tonight in Wilkes-Barre, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10.